Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Proverbs with Paul in the afternoon, the late afternoon, but it's still sunny. Praise the Lord. Proverbs chapter 10 and verse 22. It is the blessing of the Lord that makes rich and he adds no sorrow to it. So the blessing of the Lord. To be blessed by the Lord is to be favoured, to be enriched, to be enhanced, to advance, to have, to gain, to get. It's all um, manifestations of enrichment. So to be blessed and then to be blessed by the Lord is to be blessed by God. God is the Lord of Lords. He is the King of Kings. There is only one God and he's made up of three representations Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So to be blessed by the Lord is to be blessed by the Godhead, the reality of everything that represents God. So God blesses, and then that reality is God, the Father, God, the Son, God, the Holy Spirit, the Lord, he enriches. And the reality of being enriched is to advance. And so the Lord uh, blesses, he makes rich and he adds no sorrow to it. Now, I ask the question, why would the Lord even add sorrow to a blessing? Sometimes we can be advanced in terms of receiving a blessing from the Lord. And yet, at the same time, not really know how to manage the blessing that God has given to us. Many people have gone astray because they have been overwhelmed by the incredible anointing that's come upon their lives. And they just haven't been able to manage it. And therefore, though it's a blessing to bring enrichment, it actually brings a curse to them because their immaturity and their inability uh, enables them to be succumbed by the advancement of that blessing. And one such person is Solomon himself. Solomon, a man of wisdom, perhaps the wisest man that ever lived on the earth outside of the Trinity. And he was given by God the ability to manage God's people with incredible wisdom as a blessing because he didn't ask for personal gain when God invited him to eat something from his table. But when Solomon received his blessing of wisdom, it overwhelmed him. And the book of Ecclesiastes is about Solomon's being overwhelmed by the responsibility of being able to have so much understanding. When Solomon asked for wisdom, I believe he should have asked for the ability to manage the wisdom that he gleaned. Because knowing something is one thing, but then managing the something that you now know is another. And there's a large responsibility on the people that know. In fact, God himself says that those who know will be judged severely over more so than those who don't know. So there is a liability in having knowledge and understanding and being enriched. But in this case, God is saying, the Lord is saying that there will be, in effect, no negative aspect to the blessing. He adds no sorrow to it. Unlike Solomon, who was filled with sorrow because he could not manage the wisdom that he had asked for from the Lord. Thank you for joining me. Be blessed. Have a great afternoon. Have a great evening. And I'll see you tomorrow.